Hi there, this is Snule. In this video we're gonna take a closer look at RAID 0, also known as, uh, known as striped drives. Uh, how does uh, RAID 0 work? It, um, re it, the requirements are that you have a minimum of two hard drives. You can have several hard drives in one array. And what it does is that the RAID controller joins all the hard drives into one big virtual drive. So if you have four hard drives, instead of uh, having four different volumes or stations, and you have to uh, move data and remember which station takes what, what which, in, which station or volume is for your movies, which station or volume is for your pictures and stuff like that. And the advantages by uh, RAID 0 is uh, that you have increased reading and writing speed. Uh, an example of two hard drives in RAID 0 will perform much much better than um, a single drive. So instead of having one drive of uh, maybe one terabyte if you have two 500 gig uh, drives, you will get one terabyte uh, of storage capa uh, capacity, but the reading and writing speed will be much higher. And the reason why is with one single drive, you are limited to the speed between the hard drive and the motherboard or the disk controller. And let's say, for example, this is uh, 100 megabytes per second. If you have the two 500 gigs drives on uh, a, a two separate disk controllers, each hard drive is capable of reading and writing 100 megabytes per second. And when the RAID controller gets the data from the operating system, it wants to write it to the drives, it writes to both at the same time. And thus you get the speed combined speed of each drive and up, that would mean up to 200 megabytes per second instead of 100 megabytes. Of course you can st stripe several hard drives together and if you have five hard drives on independent controllers you will be able to read and write up to five times the speed of a single drive. So if you have something that is really hard disk intense like video editing uh, maybe photo editing and stuff like that, music recording, you will really benefit from the increased read and write speed. And the disadvantages with the RAID 0 or striped array is that it offers no redundancy. And how could it be a RAID array? It is actually not, but it is uh, in the the RAID 0 um, architecture is included in the RAID terminology because it requires a RAID controller to do the work. Um, so it's not true RAID but it's counted as a RAID. Now here's an example of a two disk array uh, with two drives one uh, each has one terabyte of capacity. We have our RAID controller, either software based or hardware based. And we have this virtual disk that is presented to the operating system. And as you can see, it's two terabytes. So you have two hard drives and the operating system only sees one big drive, one station or one volume. That's thanks to the RAID controller. Now we're going to take a look at how data is being written and also it would be the same principle of, of reading from the volume. Uh, first of all we have a, a set of bits here, it's only 8 bits, it's very simplified just to show you the principle of how it works. So operating system wants to write these 8 bits to the hard drive. What the RAID controller will do is take the first half of um, the data and copy it or write it to um, the first hard drive. And it will take the second part 
of the data and write it to the second hard drive. Um, it will be keep doing this all the time. Um, it will give you increased speed, and it should all it should work like a charm until your hard drive fails. What happens when, uh, in this case, hard drive number two fails? Well, first of all, all the data on that drive is no longer as accessible, and that what would that uh, result in? It actually results in all of your data, all of your two terabytes of data being lost. And the reason for that is that the disk number two here had all the second halves of the data. So even though disk drive number one is still alive, it only contains a half a set of each data. So it's no longer usable. And the end result of this is all your files are gone and you have a big problem.